In your health headlines, February is American Heart Health Month and heart disease remains a leading cause of death in the U.S. for both men and women. But most women wouldn't recognize a heart attack if it strikes. And a lot of that has to do with the strikingly different symptoms women experience. To talk more about that, I'm joined by Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Good to see you, Dr. G. Good to be here. Well, recognizing the signs of heart disease is critical, yet it seems to continue to elude most women. Why is that? You know, I don't know, but one of the major things is that we know that when women have symptoms, the symptoms are different than what men have. You know, men, when they're having a heart attack, it's usually a crushing chest pain, sometimes radiating down the arm. When women have heart attacks, it's more a nausea, back pain, neck pain. It's not so much of a really crushing chest pain. And sometimes no symptoms at all, right? I know. It's, it's sometimes women just feel like something's wrong, like a foreboding feeling. And so they don't even have a lot of the pain. Or the women think it's more of a gastric upset. And so what studies have found is that while men usually will wait about 12 hours before, interestingly, their wives force them to go to the emergency room, women can wait two to three days before they finally go to an emergency room. And so because of that, not only are women getting heart attacks, but they're actually dying from their heart attacks at a much higher rate than men's men are. Yeah, I read those statistics and those are rather alarming. So it almost sounds like it's almost more critical for women to prevent that first heart attack because statistics show that they're more likely to have a second heart attack within a year. That's absolutely right, Kathleen. Now, some of that may be because women will usually get heart attacks in their early 70s where men, the highest incidence, is in their mid-60s. And so women are a little bit older. Women are also maybe a little bit more obese than men, have a little bit more of a higher incidence of diabetes, maybe exercise a little bit less. Um, and so they have other factors uh, that cause them to be more at risk. But definitely, women have a, a much worse time with heart attacks. And as you just said, once they have one heart attack, they're more likely to die in the following year or get another heart attack. Well, you raised some of those risk factors. Let's put those on the board, so to speak, on the TV screen for our viewers. You mentioned diabetes. Um, what are some of the other things that come into well, play that make you more at risk? You know, Kath, it's what we say almost every Tuesday night. It's lack of exercise. It's having stress. It's excessive alcohol. Of course, smoking. And, and we're actually looking at the decreasing the risk of heart disease. I apologize. That one went yes, up first. But those are the 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 things that we talk about every week are what we should be doing. We should be exercising more, drinking less, eating more responsibly. But more important than that, that is making sure that your doctor checks your blood pressure. You know, high blood pressure is one of the things that doesn't have a lot of symptoms, but we know that people with high blood pressure have a much higher incidence of heart attacks. So especially men and women, but especially women, when you see your doctors, make sure that you get your heart checked, you get your blood pressure checked. You make sure that your cholesterol, especially your LDL, which is the dangerous form of cholesterol, is lower. And those are the major risk factors we need to protect against. And also a woman's risk factor goes up, doesn't it, when she hits menopause? It does. It does. When all of a sudden the estrogens start to become lower, that usually makes for uh, a higher incidence of heart disease. But the most important thing is if a woman is having chest pain, sense of foreboding, some Something's just not right. Don't stay at home. Don't be nervous that things aren't going to get done. Don't be nervous that people will think you're just trying to fake it. That's when you should call your doctor, go to an emergency room, get checked out. Because by getting yourself checked is how you can prevent the fatalities and the adverse effects that occur from heart disease. All right, some very good advice, very timely for this month. Go Wear Red Day was uh, just happening just a few weeks ago to raise awareness. Dr. G, thank you for bringing that to our attention and how we have to shift our thinking. Good to be here, Kathleen. See you next week.